First layer on your A1 looking like hot garbage? Yeah, cool. I see this every day. So you've cleaned the build plate, temps are sweet as, you've done all that adhesion stuff, and it still prints like absolute Hmm, fun times. Well, here's what nobody tells you. Sometimes your printer's just mechanically munted, and no amount of glue stick is gonna fix that. Hi, I'm Jace, head technician at Minekits, and these are the actual issues I fix every week. Warped gate on your heater assembly, nozzle too close to the bed, extruder clicking, that little metal latch that holds your hot end, it can deform over time for various reasons. Check if it's bent, cracked, or simply not locked correctly. Often it feels solid, but starts to get loose when things heat up. If it is, you'll need a replacement. Takes like 10 minutes to swap out. Next potential, loose heater assembly. Give it a wiggle. If it moves, tighten those screws. Often they loosen up with vibration over time, so snug them up properly, and don't forget those four hidden at the back. Loose X or Y belt? Should sound like a bass guitar string when you pluck it. If it's floppy, tighten it up using the tensioner until you get that nice twang sound. Possibly your bed tramming's off. If your bed is not level relative to your nozzle, the auto leveling can fail. Download and run the bed tramming file and follow the steps to manually dial it in. Mm, that's looking much better. One option is a damaged eddy current sensor. This little guy hiding down here is responsible for active flow rate compensation by measuring nozzle pressure to adjust the flow rate dynamically for consistent extrusion. If it's visibly damaged or the wires look broken, it's probably munted. You'll need a new extruder assembly as this is not a standalone part, unfortunately. Often it's simply just a partially blocked nozzle. Do a cold pull with some cleaning filament, or if you're lazy like me, just swap in a fresh nozzle. Gunked up extruder, pop it open, blow out the dust, maybe hit it with some compressed air if you've got some. Bonus tip, those cool looking jeweled and tricolor filaments, turns out they have an elliptical profile if you slice them in half, not round. The A1 hates them, so just don't. Bamboo Lab actively advises that they're not supported on the A1, so just save yourself the headache. Right, now that we have all that covered, go show your printer a bit of love, and see if you can make something that doesn't look like complete Anyway, that's it from me today. Check out minekits.co.nz and our new pixel filament line which just dropped. Amazing quality products at really cheap prices. Also jump on our Discord if you want to chat to some of the local community, people that'll be making some cool stuff. We'd love to have you along. Join in.